Hello everyone. Welcome back to the pedagogy section of my YouTube channel. This video is about activity two of module six. But before I get started, please subscribe to my channel. Click on the eight by eight logo in the right corner of your frame and give my video some LCS, like, comment, and share. Thank you so much. Activity two of module six is calculating the opposite side. Remember, there are three sides of the right triangle. We have the opposite side, which is, of course, opposite the reference angle. We have the adjacent side, which is beside the reference angle. And we have the hypotenuse, which is the longest side or the opposite of the right angle. So let us look at this diagram here. Okay. In the diagram, two trees are shown and an apple on the ground. The height of the taller tree is given at 9 meters and then the, uh, the reference angles are also given which is 41 degrees and 31 degrees on the ground. So meaning if we're talking about the opposite sides here of the two triangles, we are talking about the height of the two trees. Okay, so if we are calculating here any height of the, the trees, then we're calculating the height of the shorter tree. Okay, because the height of the, the taller tree is given already. So the question here is what is the height of the shorter tree? Okay, so now let's focus our attention on the right triangle drawn from the apple to the tree. Okay, and what are the given information here? The reference angle theta, let's name it theta, is 31 degrees. Okay, from the apple to um, actually the, the topmost portion of the shorter tree. And then the adjacent side actually is given at 10 meters, meaning the distance between the apple and the base of the shorter tree and the opposite side which is represented by the height of the shorter tree is unknown so we're calculating the height of the shorter tree here so now we think about what is the most appropriate trigonometric function that we can use here so if we're talking about adjacent side and opposite side here there are actually two trigonometric functions. We have the tangent and the cotangent. The tangent function is defined as the opposite over the adjacent. And inverse to that is the cotangent defined as adjacent side over the opposite side. So which of these two functions I'm going to use? I would say I'm going to use the tangent function, why? Because naturally we put the unknown on the top of the fraction here, meaning the numerator of the fraction. So since we are calculating the opposite side, so we put the opposite side on top and the given side, adjacent side at the bottom of the fraction or the denominator of the fraction, okay? Of course, we can also use the cotangent function but i'd rather use the tangent function here it's much easier to look at okay so now the next thing we're going to do is to substitute the given information to the function that we have decided to use so tangent theta would be tangent 31 because theta is 31 degrees and then let me use the small letter o to represent the variable of the opposite side and the adjacent side is given at 10 meters all right so we're done with substitution now let's start doing the math here by cross multiplication the next line would look like 10 tangent 31 equals 
O or the opposite side. All right? So we have that one line already. So now we need to know what is the value of tangent 31 degrees. So in your module, I link the decimal scientific calculator and you can use that. So how do we do it on the calculator? So that's very simple. You just have to put in tangent 31 and then the, calcul the calculator will give you the, the value of 0 0.6008606619. Now, I'm going to use two decimal places here for the value of tangent 31 degrees. So that would be 10 parentheses. The value of tangent 31 degrees is, is, is 0 0.60 using two decimal places equals the opposite side or O. Then we do the math 10 times 0 0.60. That will give us six meters so the opposite side of the the right triangle here which is represented by the height of the shorter tree is equal to six meters that's easy right there you have it guys you can now start working on activity two of module six but before i go please do not forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel, 8x8 LGBI. Click on the 8x8 logo in the right corner of your frame. All right? Thank you so much.